Just before we do get into this video, you will have to excuse my voice, I have come down with a bit of a cold, and so my voice is nasally. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. Sorry. Yo, what is up guys, it's Elson here, and welcome to Pokemon Uranium. This will be episode one of a series that I'm going to start because I love Pokemon. I don't even care what anybody else says. Basically, this game is a fan-made Pokemon game, um, non-profit, will add, so Nintendo, please don't sue, even though you've already taken the game down, um, but it's a fan-made Pokemon game that has completely new Pokemon, like, that the, the developers have made, um, a completely new storyline and map layout and all that stuff, so if you've played Pokemon before, I'm sure you'll be confused. Basically, I just did record up to a certain place where I got my Pokemon Only to find out that I didn't hit record like an idiot So I'm gonna start this all again and get back up to the same place, right? Oh, uh, who is it? Hello, who's there? Welcome to the world of Pokemon blah 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 story story story. My name is book Amble uh, But if you find the hard to pronounce you can just call me the Pokemon professor you're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great, cool, thanks. You want a lowdown on what you'll be doing? No. No, thank you. Humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than, were, more than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used to be in battle by trainers such as yourself. I got the whole sentence wrong. But there's still so much we don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon. Cool. You study Pokemon. You are you love elemental types. Why do they exist? Why haven't we discovered yet? But I'll tell you more on the first day in the job. Reformed to my Pokemon lab tomorrow. Cool. Who are you? This guy. Yes, I'm sure. Well, I would like to know your name. Yes, it's Elias. Thanks. Let's get into the game now. Please. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Yes, I don't care. I know my journey's going to start tomorrow. Let me just... Idiot me. Ten years ago, Elise's family lived in Beale Beach City. I'm going to do this part because it's an important story, apparently. The largest city in Tandor. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. I can't believe I didn't press record. Their mother, Lucia, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked a man in jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Elias. The Tandor region was at peace and Lucy's company... Lucy, Lucille's company, was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until... Boring plot, boring plot. Ordinary day at the nuclear plant where they got an inspector to come in and look at the electrical system. Thanks. Come on, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, yeah, so everything seems to work perfectly. The generator design really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent, cool. If everybody's finished their work, go home. You might want to take a look at this. Thanks, strange. Temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. I checked the thermometer, so it's not that. So you're all gonna die. Cool. Ah, explosions. Oh my god, that was one big breath. <sighs> there must be a breach in the reactor at this temperature. In just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. <laughs> Lucille, you have to leave too. No. Ah, she's gone. Lucille. Cool. With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were unable to escape. What were able to escape unscathed, apart from Lucille, she was never seen again. Well, until that day. Unt well, since that day, she was never seen. Cool. His father was very angry, and he became a cold-hearted bastard, and didn't have any time for me because apparently I'm not important enough to my own father. Thanks, Dad. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Or warned. Wan... Wan Ed. Wa, wa, wan Ed. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest... Um, 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 the local Pokemon professor was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Mocky Town applied. Elias and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel to the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Elias's journey began. That's me. Come downstairs, you're late. Cool, let me just go to my computer because this is how I start off all Pokemon games. Withdraw, you. Withdraw. Thank you. Bye. 
I have to say though, this game does look very, very nice for a fan-made game. It's very, very pretty. Who's this? Is it a monkey sitting there? Looks like a monkey with a hat on. Oh, no, it's my auntie. Yes, yeah, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up. I'm not your child. But we both know you and Theo are going to go on your footsteps and be a thing with the Pokemon. Cool. Father, 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 father. Talking about a father to celebrate, got your present. Open it. Running shoes. Even though you're not meant to get them until, like, the second city. Sniffle. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If your father was here, be proud of you. Don't talk to my father that way. Just slaps her. No, he shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me. Thanks. See you later. That's her bedroom. See, it's all pretty and nice, and it looks like a proper Pokemon game. Why are you running away from me? You're leaving home. Here, don't take this. Rare candy, thanks. I'm just going to go up and straight to the Pokemon because... Oh, who are you? Most of the species are found in and or are native to this region, but some w which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. So yeah, there's completely new Pokemon, like these two little ones in here, um, that the developers have made, but they've also kept some Pokemon from the original games, which is nice. Nintendo, don't sue. What do you think you're going? Trying to get to lab for me and you so you can get a, get a better Pokemon? F fuck off. <laughs> you little asshole. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Right. Here I am. Bambo says, Hey, if it isn't Elias and your friend, Er, Tommy. Honestly, Pops. Is that his granddad then? Can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo. You're right, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. Give me my Pokemon right now. I don't care. I want it. I want it right now. I have three Pokemon here that you're going to have on your journey. We're going to take an aptitude test. A test? I didn't study for any test. I'm just going to keep mixing their voices up all the episode. And all throughout the game, probably. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner. So it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Not talking. I've made him sound like fucking Meowth from the fucking cartoon series. I want to get my Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, Meowth, that's right. Alright, if you want to know more about what's going on, let's begin. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Yes, gimme, gimme, give gimme give the test. Give, give me the test. What kind of Pokemon in the wild was... Yeah, kind of Pokemon in the wild. What is your first reaction? I would wait and see what it does. Very good, both of you. Gimme a tough one. Okay, next question. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam, obviously, it's the strongest thing ever. Hey, Professor, what's a tier? Wow. How has this kid got a job and I don't? Well, I mean, I do. But how has he got a job? He doesn't even know what a TM is. Which of the following Pokemon would win in an all out battle? I don't know these two because they are two you've made up, I think. Gyarados would. Gyarados would easy, he's a dragon type, he has dragon rage. That's like the best move ever apart from Hyper Beam. And probably a lot of other ways. I dig your spirit. Well that's it for the episode. Just, wow, three questions. Nice. Sorry, I'm going everywhere. Okay, finish my analysis. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. Elias, you seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go far for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. That saying, the best defense is a good offense is probably your mantra. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. For an offensive trader like you, Raptorch, the sickest starter po Oh god, I've just hit my phone against the table. Sorry. The sickest starter Pokemon ever. He's a raptor with fire tail. Yes, give me. Hmm. Raptorch is mine. What should I call him? Or her? It's a her now. Um... Fart. There you go. Because I'm funny. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Give me my Pokemon. Elliot's got their starts already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your test there. Well, give me a second, you inconsiderate little shit. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Theo, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own defense. 
or yourself. I sense something has seeded greatness to transform yourself completely. Obey you regardless for a trainer like you. What a shit Pokemon. He got a cat? I got a raptor with fire breath? Idiots. Yeah, my first Pokemans. I want to see what the other one's like. I want to see what the water one's like as well. That's why I like the first ones. Well, this isn't part of the series, but it's why I liked the other ones, because I could see what you want. Anyway, apparently that is a nice animation, but we're going to battle now. Rival Theo would like to battle. Theo sent out Cat. I sent out... Dinosaur. Fight. Ember. Suck a dick. Easy. Easy win. Easy life. Your cat is grass type. I have fire. That's easily better than grass. But I was supposed to win. I got no. I got three. So basically, I just kicked the shit out of his pet, and stole his money. And he's a kid. Good morals, Pokemon. Good morals. Good trainers never lose. I I sniff where. Please don't cry, Theo. I'll heal your Pokemon for you. What a nice granddad. Your Pokemon were healed, even though mine didn't lose any health whatsoever. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. Well, too bad you started off terribly, didn't you? How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and Elias's, between your starter and Elias's, theirs has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. For you novice Pokemon people out there, there's the basics. What's the element type track? Well, that's the element track track. Words. That's the element. Elemental type triangle, well, one of them, at any rate. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. I think I pretty much know all of them. The most obscure one being that Bug is better against Psychic, apparently. He took that harder than I'd hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him, he's just a kid after all. So am I. I'm not, I'm not taking my victory as like a full thing. I just kicked his ass. I'll expect he'll discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. Cool. I'm going out to the entrance to Ruto 1, by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach both of you how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Elias. And this is the point where I got up to in the last time that I tried to record but didn't hit record. I know that this game is going to be such a good thing on the series because it's good to support like individual and self-motivated developers, such as the people who made Pokemon Uranium. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on this video, let me know what you think of the video in the comment section below, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm an idiot.